Today you will be examined for the mark of mastery. Not one, but two of the Keyblades chosen stand here as candidates. But this is neither a competition nor a battle for supremacy. Not a test of wills, but a test of heart. Both of you may prevail, or neither. But I am sure our guest, Master Xehanort, did not travel all this way to see our youngest prospects in years fall short of the mark. I trust you are ready. Yes. yes. Then let the examination begin. about me. You two focus on the exam. But Ven, you're in danger here. Go wait in your room. No way. I've been looking forward to this. Seeing you two become masters. I'm not gonna miss it now. He could take care of himself. He's been out there training just as hard as us. Yeah. Stay sharp, Ven. Alright, time to get, uh, Terra run through in his in his uh, paces. Show the robes of light. Gotcha. Right. Dash away so I can do this. Got that controlling. It was R1, right? Yeah. Try and get them both in. Max! Come on, there he is! Aw. Oh well. Flying Nash! There it is. Ow! Bastard, come back here! Yeah. Wow, that thing went around. Come here! Yeah. Oh, damn it, man. Oh, he's stealing my thunder! Whoa, he's walking like a pinball. I did nothing. I did even less than nothing. Ow! Bastard. Learn critical impact. That's a new uh, command style. That was unexpected. But one must keep a still heart even in the most trying of circumstances. It was an excellent test, one I chose to let unfold. Which brings us to your next trial. Now, Terra and Aqua, the two of you will face each other in combat. Remember, there are no winners, only truths. For when equal powers clash, their nature is revealed. Begin! We have deliberated and reached a decision. Terra, Aqua, you both performed commendably. However, only Aqua has shown the mark of mastery. Terra, you fail to keep the darkness within you sufficiently in check. But there is always next time. That is all. Aqua, as our newest Keyblade Master, you are entitled to certain knowledge. Please wait here for further instruction. 
Hey. Tara, I'm sorry. The darkness, where did it come from? What do you make of Ventus? He ain't gonna cut it. Somebody's gotta break that loser in. Not here, you won't. I have to keep up appearances. I know that. He just needs a little incentive to leave home. <sighs> Sorry. But I need some time alone. There's darkness within me. So what does that matter? I know I'm strong enough to hold it back. Yes. You are indeed strong. The darkness is nothing to fear. Master Xehanort. And yet, how frustrating that Ericus refutes its power. Why, you could train with him forever, and still... You would never be a master in his eyes. But why? Help me understand, Master Xehanort. What is it that I failed to learn? You're fine as you are. <laughs> Darkness cannot be destroyed. It can only be channeled. Yes. Thank you, Master. What happened? I don't know. Why isn't Ven here? Very well, then. I will send my pupils to investigate. Yes, I understand. Farewell. That was my dear old friend, Yen Sid. As you know, he is master no more. But he still keeps a close eye on the tides of light and darkness. His counsel serves as signposts on the road we wielders of the Keyblade must walk. All the more reason then for concern, for he tells me the princesses of heart are in danger. Not only from the forces of darkness, as you may assume, but also from a new threat. One that feeds on negativity. Fledgling emotions that have taken monster form. Yen Sid calls them the Unburst. As wielders of the Keyblade, you are tasked with striking down any who would upset the balance of light and darkness. The Unburst are no exception. I tried to pass this news on to Master Xehanort, but my repeated attempts to reach him have failed. I doubt there is any connection, and yet this all troubles me. Master Xehanort is gone? So here we are. I need you two to get this situation under control. Eliminate the Unversed, and find Master Xehanort. I have unlocked the lanes between. You may use these forbidden pathways to travel between this world and countless others. Darkness looms closer than usual within these spaces, but your armor will protect you. Lastly, remember that order must be kept. You cannot tell anyone there are other worlds. Now go, and fulfill your duty. Yes, yes master. master. Terra, consider this an opportunity, a second chance for you to change my mind. What? You must know, 
I care for you like my own son. If I could have my way, I would name you master in a second. But how can I? when you are so obsessed with power. Terra, you mustn't be afraid of losing. Fear leads to obsession with power, and obsession beckons the darkness. You must never forget. Thank you, Master. I swear, I will not fail you again. It's okay. Now that's all that, I'm going to go into a few details before I stop this set. That's going to be our set one. Yeah, maybe set two. I'll probably just uh, get rid of that set zero nonsense. Anywho, we now have D-Links, which allow us to gain unique abilities based off the character we uh, Dimension Link with. They can be powered up by killing Unversed and getting uh, stars, as you saw when I was flipping through it. You have a shit ton of new abilities. Do this. Earth Shaker, nice. Oop. Stalk, there we are. Come on. Actually, you know what? Let's do... Where is it? Ah, Melody Commands, there we go. List. All right, <clears throat> I'll do it all off screen. Okay, <laughs> what I'm going to be doing off screen is command boards. They are a great way to level up your skills. Other than that, the only other way to level them up is by using them. But in here, I'm not going to actually go play again. I'm just going to show you. You can gain new uh, new uh, boards and gain experience for the boards, etc., etc., etc. I recommend when you play a board. All right, you go to new game, pick the board you want. We only have one. Go to the max setting and play it. Um, each board will have new abilities uh, thrown throughout the game board. And by claiming them, you get them in the game itself, or in the uh, main storyline bit. Like, for example, each board will have a new shot lock you can get. For this one, I'll show you what it is and where it is. No. I know. All right. Uh, there we go, trying. Over here is the Ragnarok shot lock. Get there with 800 po with 800 points, and you can buy it and claim it. You, the goal of it is, of this game is to get to each of these uh, points on the board. Get a total of the points you put in the beginning, which would be 15,000 in this case, and then get back to the start point right here. 
Do that, and you win. Regardless if you win or not, you'll still gain the experience for your, uh, uh, abilities that you use. You use abilities by going along the board and placing any abilities you currently own on the board, and you can upgrade it with points, etc., etc. The more points that th that ability has, the more experience it gets at the end of the game. Fun stuff. I'm going to do a bonus video off-screen later, uh, going into greater detail about all this, and probably even showing you guys a, uh, sample match. Anyway, that's it for set 1-0, whatever, whatever I decided it was going to be, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Thanks for watching Let's Play. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, and please feel free to like. It really does help me out. I'll see you guys in the next Let's Play. Bye!